I mean, it's a long answer because it was a long and incredibly wonderful process. Mm -hmm. um, the casting director, who was also our acting coach, mm -hmm. uh, Maria Laura Berch, was the truly architect, uh, architect of this selection process. Mm -hmm. I remember that the first time I received a flyer from a friend via Twitter, a simple rectangle of color that says some, something like, we are looking for actors aged 18 to 25 who have ever played rugby. Believe it or not, <laughs> this little body has played the sport for a very long time. Uh, so in a very innocent and um, tentative manner, I sent my first email on December 23 of 2020, right in the mid of the pandemic. And it's an amazing coincidence that December 23 of 1972 is the date when the last heli helicopter trip that rescued the eight remaining survivors took place. And it's a detail that for me marks a mystical trend in this process. Yeah. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm, for me, it's mystical. Yeah. And then over nine months, uh, I kept sending self-tape and all with scenes that had really, really, really little information. I mean, we don't know. We, don't, uh, we, don't, we didn't have a, an idea of what the story was about um, because had changed, like the character had changed names, um, but has had some keywords like fuselage, snow, rugby, and after connecting dots, uh, I finally understood that the story I was about to do was the one about the airplane crash in the in the Andes. Yeah. So well, the the process continued like for nine months, and one day they told me to travel to Uruguay for an in-person audition with the director. And the direct director was none other than Juan Antonio Bayona, a person that I admire and whose entire filmography I had watched since I was a cinema student. Um, and I mean, the audition was uh, for me like uh, an intensive drama school. Mm -hmm. um, moreover, I, I remember um, the privilege of sharing scene in the audition with the son of one of the real survivors who was also auditioning, for, uh, but anyway, he didn't get the part, but it was like a truly, a truly, a truly intensive school for me. Yeah. Um, and after that adventure of the audition in Uruguay, we um, returned home, not knowing if we were in the movie or not. So a few months later, uh, I received a request for another virtual audition, another one, uh, because something didn't fit. They told me that. Okay. And I was, man, oh, I wouldn't be in it. I was, I was thinking, oh, I wouldn't be in it. Why, why, why? But it was all a joke. I mean, it was a call uh, to tell me that I would, I would finally be in the project and play in the role of Daniel Maspons.